Hi guys, today I want to share with you some of the hobbies and the things that I do and how I spend my time as an extreme minimalist. I just want to say that for the longest time I was under the impression that I had no choice and that things were just happening and just being thrown at me. That I had to do what others expected me to do and that I had to follow a certain line and behave in a certain way, do certain activities. So I was just doing what everyone else did, what my peers did, what my friends did. And there's not necessarily something wrong with that. It's just that it was so different than what I wanted to do and I never felt quite right and when I started to minimize my belongings and I had more clarity and I also started to focus more on what I wanted and my own needs I started to remove objects and commitments and that way I could be honest with myself and uh, what I needed or wanted to do without any judgments or without me comparing myself to others or that I have certain expectations. So I really love to spend time in nature. I love to take long walks. We have the most beautiful park and piece of nature very close to where I live. It's just around the corner and I really like to take a daily walk if I can. Sometimes it's just half an hour or less but I really prefer to walk for one hour or sometimes even two hours a day and somehow it just keeps on amazing me how beautiful the leaves are, the trees are and the flowers and how pretty the grass is and just the wonderful smell of nature and how it all can change when it's sunny and when it's raining and I just love how refreshing it makes me feel every time and also how happy it makes me feel. I feel so calm afterwards. I really love being surrounded by so much beauty and so much peacefulness and usually I do prefer to walk with someone and to just chit chat together and to be together and enjoy this wonderful nature. I also especially love water actually all sorts of water but the sea is my very favorite and I always feel so energized after spending time near water and near the sea and listening to the waves and the bird noises it is so soothing for me I can feel how my energy is being raised immediately and that I feel more uplifting and happy I love to chat with friends to have a coffee especially at a nice place with a beautiful surrounding outside or a cozy inside and I like to take it's slow to really have a deeper conversation and to listen and to share and to really be present. I love to go to exhibitions to watch art but I am kind of selective because it's not just every piece of art or every exhibition. I also really love to make art or to be creative in general, to do projects and I feel like an energy living inside of me that needs to come out in like abstracted forms, in color, in thoughts and it just feels so good to create. I feel like I need to pull that out of my inside to the external world and whenever I do that I just feel more complete and I I also don't mind spend a lot of time thinking about ideas, drawing, sketching, making plans or just to be thinking about what I can make. I think that's a big part of it as well, not just to be productive all the time but to also have time to think and reflect. In the future I would like to start some bigger projects, also maybe with some charity projects or for helping animals and I really like to clear out time, space and energy and to be able to do bigger things and bigger projects in the future. I love to spend time learning new things and I have several topics that I really do enjoy putting time and effort in, like spiritual spirituality, consciousness, the human mind in general and the human behavior and just philosophy in general. I feel like I have this huge hunger for information and I need this time to really dive deep into a topic and to learn new things. I feel at my best when I can learn about the topics that interest me internally and just to make sure it must be something that I feel intrinsically motivated by and not something that is externally forced onto me. There's a huge difference and usually when I talk to people about this they always seem to confuse the two and they always think that I'm speaking about external learning motivation. It's logical that they think this because it's how we are being raised 
as children we are being punished for the things that we want to learn and kind of pushed into one direction of the things that people think that we should learn so learning becomes like a thing that we start to hate so this idea of that i really like learning is kind of strange sometimes but it's a different kind than the external forced learning i love being surrounded by animals and you know just hang out with them just be present and take care of them so i really love pets and animals so much but most of the time i just really enjoy being at home having a nice meal doing some cleaning to listen to inspirational podcasts or listening to inspirational books to watch some nice youtube videos and i like to spend time to write some things to reflect on things and to just relax and recharge to enjoy the present and especially the small things i really love the taste and the smell of coffee watching my bunnies being happy and doing crazy jumps just the small things really really enjoy me a lot and i take a lot of time to be present with them and also i do really need a lot of time to rest and i get really easily overwhelmed and i'm not blaming myself for that anymore and i'm not trying to change myself and to fit myself into other people's schedule or to be just like they are or to try to make myself an extrovert person while i'm not and i really started to value my recharge time and i don't see it as a bad thing anymore i can really focus on on healing and on resting so these are some of the things that i like to do and i'm also very curious how you all devote your time so if you want to let me know down in the comments and thank you so much for watching hope to see you next time bye bye